Hello and welcome to part two of the lesson on how to connect two five one chords. Uh, if you have stumbled on this video part two without watching part one, make sure the link is below to find part one first where I give all the background on what we are doing actually in this lesson and then proceed uh, to this lesson. So uh, where we stopped last in the last lesson is uh, what we are about to do. So let's get right into it. Uh, we are connecting these inversions, these are drop two inversions, by the way. And as I mentioned also before, I have lessons on drop chords as well as inversions, which is exactly the two elements that enable us to do all this. And the links to those lessons uh, here on YouTube, free lessons, is also in the information below. So here we go. So first inversion of D minor seven. And again, there's a PDF available to purchase uh, that will illustrate uh, the chord shapes from all the lessons uh, in this topic. I believe there are gonna be three parts to this lesson and the PDF is, in, is going to include all the chord shapes from all the parts. So we're starting here. F, um, C, D, A to G7 as and as we noted in the first uh, part, only two notes change. This, notes, this note moves down half a step, this note moves down a step, and these two notes remain the same. And then we're gonna finish with a, a nearby inversion for the C major seven that kind of flows uh, pretty close with it. The next, we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do is find the next inversion of this D minor seven. And it's gonna be right here. And again, this is all in the PDF, which you will uh, want to check out. And by going to this inversion of G7, musically, the same exact thing is gonna happen. One note is gonna move half a step down, the C to the B, and the A is gonna move down to the G. And you will notice again that when moving from the G7 to the C major 7, once again, one note moves down half a step, the F becomes an E, and then the D becomes a C. Together. can see how close to each other these are and this is useful because when you're opening real book and seeing C uh, D minor 7 G7 and C we all do that we all gravitate towards the root position and we always get stuck in the same two three chords and that should uh, free you from that now in the next parts in part number three uh, possibly number four even if it uh, if it goes in that direction and we expand a lot on the, on the sounds, we are indeed going to add a lot of flavor to these chords, as it, again, as mentioned in the first part. But for now, we're going to stick strictly with D minor 7, G7, and C major 7. So we were here. Next up. And if you look closely at what you're doing, you're going to see the same thing exactly over and over again. The two notes that change and two notes remain every time you move to your next harmony. Here's your uh, D minor 7. The C will become a B and the A will become a G. And the same thing will happen when moving from the G7 to the C major 7. The F will become an E, and the D will become a C. So together. And finally, uh, we have four notes in each of these chords, so there are four inversions all told. We start with the first inversion, the one that had the three in the bass, second inversion, third inversion. Here finally is the root position, and we can actually do this also in the open position. Uh, so you should do that as well, but 
let's continue here. Here's our D minor 7 in the root position finally. So D, A, C, and F. G7, uh, a sound that I really dislike and I don't actually use, but technically speaking, this is the next inversion that uh, we have to go through, uh, or the correct inversion on paper anyway. So we will uh, mention it. Although I usually like to color this up with something else because I really dislike that sound, but never mind that. Same thing. Two notes change, two notes remain the same. Two notes change, two notes remain the same. And just to sum up uh, these four mini progressions. In the next part, part number three, we're going to start coloring these chords and adding some more interesting colors to them. So make sure to check that out.